it's Kay, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to have a really casual vlog today. We are going to unbox and try the new Maker's Mop from uh, Clean My Space, Melissa Maker, Maker's Clean, you know you know who it is. And I'm also going to do some other like little house projects so I'll take you along with me on the journey but um, full disclosure the mop was sent to me um, as like a press sample so I did not pay for it but they are not paying me to talk about the mop. Um, I can like not show you the mop if I wanted to but I want to try it because I'm excited because um, I am at the point in my life where I am excited about a mop which is like what is that? Also, I, it is no secret that this is probably a biased review because I like Melissa and I like Makers Clean and I like Clean My Space. I love the whole thing about it. I love them. I love the channel. I love everything about it. I just love it. So um, I'll probably love the mop too, but I'm going to open it up and show it to you. I'm excited to try it because I really have to clean the bathroom today, the, uh, the, the guest bathroom. I've cleaned the master bathroom in the last few days, probably got to clean it again soon, uh, but the, ma the guest bathroom needs to be cleaned and I also need to change the shower head in there and I've never done that, so I'll take you guys on the journey with that, but uh, let's, let's do the mop thing. And you know what? As always, if you like videos like this, give it a thumbs up. Say hello to Clover James or not. Hello. Okay, here is the mop in a box, and we're just gonna open the box. Oh, I need a, a box cutter. Let me go grab that. Okay, so unboxing with you guys. It's my first time seeing it, and your first time seeing it too. Let's take it out. Ooh, okay. Nice. Oh, there's a little paper at the bottom of the box. Let's see. Probably a note or something. Just a note saying thank you. Okay, so um, here is the mop, and it comes with two, I think two of each of the cloths. So like, yeah, these are like the regular cleaning cloths. They're like blue, and uh, they have Maker's Clean tags on them um, with cleaning instructions. Of course they have cleaning instructions. Why would they not? That would be really crazy if they didn't. And this is two, these, these are two of the scrubby mop heads. So um, here they are. They also come with cleaning instructions. They feel very, very high quality and nice, both of these. So we've got two of each. And the great thing about this mop and which intrigued me the most about the design is the mop head is very cool. So here is the mop uh, handle. <laughs> I was like, what is this called, mop handle? And it's expandable. Uh, there's a little thing that's here that says um, open and close. I don't know if you can see it, but it's um, indicated there so that you, so that people, dummies like me can actually open and close it. <laughs> so here is the mop head and it's, as you can see, it's curved. Isn't that cool? So the mop head, goes on the map, mop, well, the mop head. This is the mop head, but this is the mop pad, I guess, goes on like that. And so it's nice and cool. So you get this, um, it's got a precision edge here and then you can like get in corners and stuff. So it also has this little locking mechanism. Let's see, this one here, there we go. Oh, oh. okay, so, and it expands. Um, I guess this is like three feet and it gets up to five feet, I think. I think, I'm not sure. If I'm wrong, I'll put it up on the screen, but um, so it, uh, <sighs> I really wanna insert some not safe for work jokes here, but I won't. All right, so here is the mop head. And I can, um, let's see. Oh, so I can close it so that it doesn't get, so it doesn't contract again, or I can open it so that it does contract, which is great. Um, and then I can have it. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool design. Okay. And let's see. I can, hello? Hello? Can I? Oh, there it goes. Okay. Oh, and the head swivels like this. So you can like do your swiveling on the floor or I think it locks. Um, how do you lock? Oh, there we go. There's the swivel lock where it doesn't swivel at all and you can get like really precision cleaning, which is cool. This is cool. I've never been so excited about a mop in my life. I don't know what that says about me at this point, um, but I'm, I'm excited. So let's do um, 
Let's actually just do some dry mopping at this point. I'm not super excited to do wet mopping right now. I just want to do like, I just want to clean the walls a little bit. I'll try it out, see if it's, because I'm going to treat it like a dust mop for, for a bit. Oh my gosh. Can you get one, dear? Okay, this thing, this is the middle. <laughs> learning. We're learning. We're learning as we go. There, I'm gonna get it right in the middle. That there, that there. Oh, it's also got these little groovy things so that you can put like a regular maker's cloth in there instead of these mop heads if you wanted to do that instead. So that's really cool. All right, let's try this puppy out on some of the walls because I have a feeling that there's some, some nastiness on some of these walls. Oh, and I wanted to add another really cool design about this is this got this little rubberized ring on the head so that you can lean it up against stuff and it's not going to fall over because that's very irritating. <laughs> so um, I'm, I am very grateful that that was part of the design process. It's very thoughtful. So Melissa, A+. Plus. <laughs> Baseboard cleaning. This is clutch. Okay, gotta say, using it as a dust mop only. Right now, I'm very impressed. The baseboard cleaning power uh, is incredible, and I really like it. And the dust is sticking to the mop head, the, um, the mop pad, so I'm very impressed. I'm gonna try this wet and uh, clean the bathroom. I'll be, maybe I'll use the scrubby, the scrubby side <laughs> this time. <laughs> All right, so I've got the scrubby head now and I've got the swiveling action on. Um, and I'm gonna be using my method uh, mint floor cleaner, squirt mop cleaner. I like this stuff. You just spray it on the floor and then you will spray it, you, you know, you squirt it on the floor and you mop and it smells really good like mint. So I'm gonna use this, give it a try. <laughs> The fact that I can lean this up against the wall and not have to worry about it falling over, like I can just like, boop, is actually everything. Um, it seems, <laughs> that seems like the dumbest thing to be excited about, but it, I really, I appreciate that. <laughs> so, um, well done. Okay, I'm gonna keep using this like for the rest of the week or whatever, and I will, I will promise you guys I will give you guys an update on how I like this mock so far first impressions um, I am actually very impressed 
on the usability of this. The train is so loud, I'm sorry. I'm super impressed uh, about the design on this. I love the swiveling, um, but I do love the ability to like stop, stop the swiveling. <laughs> There's a whole little button here that stops the swiveling. So um, I'm very, I'm very impressed with the design of this mop and uh, I'll keep using it for a while, but then let's, uh, let's get what we're doing in the bathroom. Let's, let's do, I've been putting this off for like days. So let's do it. I got a new shower head for the shower and it, apparently it's very easy to replace, but I've never replaced a shower head in my life. Um, and I'm replacing the shower head because the shower head that came with our bathroom, our guest bathroom apparently sucks. Um, I've talked to a few neighbors about it and they're like, yeah, because the water pressure is like, Wah! and apparently um, according to the neighbors that I've talked to, it's the shower head and they, when they replaced the shower head, it was much better. So um, I bought a new shower head off Amazon for like super cheap. Apparently it's really good and apparently it's super easy to install. So we'll, uh, we'll see if that's true. Here we go. Okay. So a couple things going on. We got the shower, um, the bath shower and the actual shower head. This guy um, apparently has some sort of like flow restrictor. Uh, maybe I can take it out, but I don't know. I've just been told to replace your shower head and it'll work. Um, but I got this guy from Amazon. It's like the Hope Hope Pro, Hop Hop Hopo Pro <laughs> shower head. This has like different massage. Um, options too, so it's it's better than that one anyway. Um, and I think this one will be um, the one to use instead of that one. So we'll see how easy it is to replace it. So um, yeah, I'm afraid. Be very afraid. scared to do this right now. I think I'm gonna come back to this later. I think I need to do more research. Okay, good morning. I'm vlogging with my Canon camera today. I don't know how good the onboard audio is on this camera, but I'm expecting a lapel mic today. So I'll be able to put that on here so I don't have to like continue to use the onboard mic because it probably sucks. Nobody cares. Anyway, bottom line is I hope the sound is okay. Um, Clover and I are about to go outside. Hello, there he is. I just got dressed and um, it looks really cloudy outside, but um, hopefully uh, it's not gonna rain or anything. I gotta check the forecast. You ready to go outside? Yeah? <laughs> He's definitely ready to go outside. All right, let's go. Freak it out. Get him. Get him. Get him. All right, we are back. It's a little wet outside still, so I had to rinse him off downstairs. So he is a little bit wet, but we had a good walk and he's happy. We're both happy, right, buddy? Did you have a good time? Great, I'm so glad for you. Okay, so I think I'm ready to tackle the bathroom shower head thing again. I watched a YouTube video. I watched actually a Dad How, Dad How Do I? I think that's the name of the channel. It's like recently like blew up and it's all like just how to do stuff and it's an awesome channel. It has a, like millions of subscribers. You don't, it doesn't need my like, you know, recommendation, but like he is amazing and he explained it super, 
wonderfully and like kind of like a dad would and it was really nice so um, it looks super easy I just need my wrench um, and I'm gonna um, let's let's do this This wrench, I think they're the same size, so I need a, a bigger wrench. Um, I guess that's something I can get at the hardware store at some point. Um, but that's a good try. All right, I guess I'm a little upset that that didn't work out, but what are you gonna do? Um, it's time for me to record a couple of videos from my other channel, so I'm gonna get on that um, and uh, maybe get on some meal planning also. So uh, I'll see you in a bit. Good morning. My attempts to vlog over the past week uh, have, have failed greatly. Um, I tried to do the whole thing with the shower head, did not work out. Um, it's much tighter than I originally thought it was gonna be. It's much more difficult to get that, uh, that nut off of the pipe. So I'm gonna ask for some help. Maybe people who have um, done it in the building. I know that a couple of my neighbors have done it and they said it really helps. So I'm gonna ask them to walk me through it maybe like over Zoom or something, but for now I'm gonna leave it alone. Um, and I really have a lot of like cleaning up to do, so I figured I would take you along on the journey to get stuff cleaned up for the week. It's Monday and I'm kind of behind on my housework. I haven't um, made the bed yet. I haven't put away my clothes, my laundry clothes. My laundry clothes, what am I saying? My laundry, my clean laundry. Here it is, I have not put it away. Um, my husband has not put his away too, too so <laughs> we're, I'm not the only one slacking on the job. Um, Clover's here because he's been out today. He's had an, an, an exciting time. Um, I also have to clean the bathroom. Hello, um, you guys did see me clean the bathroom shower door, which is still pretty sparkling clean. Um, I cleaned it with the mop uh, that I'm going to uh, do a review video on separately. Hello, you are following me around. Oh, that was a big burp. Are you okay? <laughs> you okay, little buddy? But my main goal today is to clean up uh, the pantry a little bit and the refrigerator because let me tell you that we have, we've gone shopping um, but our refrigerator is a bona fide disaster because this is a very dynamic space. So when we got our groceries delivered yesterday, we just shoved them all in here and I haven't really done anything to organize this space yet. So I'm gonna spend a little amount of time in here organizing this and practice what I preach and I'll show you guys the end result. Uh, let's get started.
Okay, well I am done and let me tell you that took, that seemed to take me forever. It just seemed to take a long time, but I think I'm happy with the results and I'm ready to make dinners for the week. It was, I think it had been three weeks since I cleaned the refrigerator and organized it, so it had gotten to a state. So, 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 so scary. So I'll show you the uh, results of my cleaning and organizing. Yay! Here is the brand new clean and organized fridge. Yay! Look at all of our fun food. So we've got our eggs, dairy, we've got some leftover, so this mushrooms that I think I'm gonna cook for breakfast tomorrow. Um, and I think what, there's bacon underneath there or onions, I don't know. Uh, but we've got so many carrots and a lot of kale, so I gave them each those OXO containers since we were not using those. That's where leftovers go. This is where some extra produce goes. We've got berries, lettuce, celery. There's some lettuce in the back too, because uh, my husband eat, likes to eat a lot of salad. We've got drinks over here. Also, there was no place else to put the spring onions, so they're, <laughs> they're hanging out there. We've got, um, um, ethylene sensitive vegetables over here and ethylene producing fruits over here. That pear is like on its last legs. I need to eat it. Uh, we've got our cheese and meat down here. Lots of cheese and uh, a little beef. A lot. We've got condiments on the side and also some cilantro, which we're going to eat probably uh, in the next couple of days. But uh, condiments, lots of hot sauce. We love hot sauce. Um, butter. Uh, some more drinks. We got kombucha from our neighbors. We got like lots more condiments and this is a special place dedicated to pickles. I don't know why we have so many pickles. Well, we like pickles. Um, so there's like pickled jalapenos, pickled, there's olives and you know, just general pickle stuff. So yay. I am so happy with the fridge. Now I can find things and I can make dinner without being stressed out just by opening the fridge because that was starting to happen. All right. I'm going to shut it before it starts beeping at me because I hate that. Hello bee. Look how sweet that is. Oh, the laundry's done. I don't know if I said in another video, but I got a beautiful new Monstera Deliciosa because my last one pretty much bit the dust. So I found this one um, at a nursery uh, not far from here actually and she's gorgeous she's got some it's like it's basically like a, a really big juvenile so there's a lot of these um leaves without fenestrations but we've got some with some starting to have some splits this looks like a brand new leaf oh look look at her look at that brand new leaf so pretty i love the way the new leaves are like really like neon green and then they turn this darker green so we've got a couple of mature leaves um but not not a lot but i'm hoping she'll be nice and big. I'm very happy with my new Monstera. And we've got this pot that I got from Ikea. It's in a, it's in a nursery pot, so it's not getting like water all over the, the console there. But um, I love it. She's pretty. So I don't really know what this vlog is going to be exactly. It's kind of like a little snippets of my life that have been um, happening over the past few weeks. And uh, I, I've made a vlog like this before. They're kind of like little, little vignettes. But um, I hopefully will be a little more productive and have cohesive stuff for you in the next couple of weeks. I think I'm going to take a little time to recharge my batteries. Um, I know the videos have been a little light for the past uh, week or so, but I am just recharging my batteries and um, try to give you guys the best of me and not some low quality stuff. <laughs> Although I don't know what this is. I have lots of projects to do. We've got lots of stuff going on. So there'll be some, I'm not going to say exciting stuff happening soon, but there'll be some probably intense stuff happening soon. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily good or bad. It's just, it, it just is. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys are having a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next one. This video is weird. Okay. Bye. Thank you.